everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and today I'm going to share an overview of the organizational tech systems that I use to compensate for my ADHD forgetfulness and distraction. I come from a long line of folks afflicted with ADHD inattentive type. Everyone in my family of origin has some degree of ADHD and I've passed it down to both of my kids. They are, as you can imagine, eternally grateful. I've never been diagnosed and I don't take medicine for it, but I definitely have many of the symptoms, albeit perhaps mild. Distractibility, organization problems, forgetfulness, and tragically bad working memory, or the ability to keep more than two things in your head at one time. So even though I didn't have a label for what I was dealing with early on, I knew that I needed to compensate for my clear deficits in these areas just to get things done and not be constantly apologizing for not responding, missing appointments and forgetting things. The way I think about it is some people have internally well-organized heads. They remember their schedules, they remember what tasks they want to accomplish for the day, and they remember where they left their keys. I, on the other hand, have a brain that looks like this most of the time. So I rely on external systems to keep my brain organized. Whereas most people have a regular internal skeleton, I have an exoskeleton, like an Iron Man suit. And you know what? It's actually pretty effective. Would you believe that most of my friends consider me extremely organized and responsive? So it looks like maybe my systems have at least them fooled. So this has been kind of an interesting mental exercise to um, reverse engineer my organizational processes. Um, at its most basic, information comes into my life in two ways, either electronically or by paper. So this video is going to cover how I deal with electronic information, which is by far the biggest stream. I attempt to get all electronic information to enter my life through a single stream. Um, then I determine whether to delete it, file it, or act on it. If it falls into the act on it category, then there is a, another decision point. Read, respond, create an appointment, make a task, or add to a shopping list. Then outside of this stream of information, I have tools for reminders and for note taking. Some of these functions are pretty straightforward, but others I use multiple tech tools to help me out. I rely heavily on three tools, Gmail for single stream email, Google Calendar for scheduling, and Toodledo for task management. I commit to checking these apps, these three apps daily, and to keeping up with my commitments for each one. Any additional tools that I have have to funnel back into these three main apps or the whole system would become too complicated and would ultimately fail. I'm gonna walk you through the process in overview and then do more detailed explainer videos for each functional area. First, single stream information collection. I use Gmail. Electronic information enters my life in a variety of ways, as I'm sure it does for you as well. Voicemail from my landline, voicemail from my cell phone, texts, emails, face-to-face -face conversations, and mental notes. As much as is humanly possible, I try to single stream all of this information into Gmail so that it's all coming into one funnel and I don't have to remember to check multiple sources. All voicemails come in as emails. I email texts, conversations, or thoughts to myself that require action. I use a Gmail account for this and I commit to getting my inbox to zero several times per week. Okay, so now, now that I have everything in one place, um, since I commit to getting my inbox to zero every few days, I have to make decisions for each email. Delete, file it, or act on it. First, delete. This is simple. One keystroke and it's gone. File. So this is for stuff I might need to refer to later on. I put them really in one of three places. Gmail folders um, for email correspondence, online receipts, confirmations, etc. I use Evernote, um, which is a note-taking app for notes, websites, pieces of information that I will need to refer to more frequently, and I use Google Drive for spreadsheets, PDFs, presentations, etc. 
So for information that I need to act on, there's another decision point. The first thing is, can I deal with it um, in five minutes or less? If the answer to this question is yes, then I do it right away or I keep it in my inbox until it gets done. So this includes responding back to emails or reading short articles. If I can't get it done in five minutes or less, then I have to move it to my task list. Sometimes I'm also required to create an appointment or add something to a shopping list. I'll quickly share with you the tools that I use for each of those functions. For task list, I use Toodledo, which is a dumb name, but it's a nice, robust app. Um, and I needed a ta task app that could book tasks in the future, show me only the tasks that are due today or overdue, um, create recurring tasks, and set categories or tags per task. I also use Notability, which is a handwriting app to help me organize my to do tasks for the day. For scheduling appointments, I use Google Calendar and I use it in a fairly typical way. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to do a whole video on how I use Google Calendar. But I do have a system that is specific to using and sharing it with a family, particularly with teens or preteens. So watch my video on that if you're interested. Um, if I need to add something to a shopping list, AnyList is my lip list app for shopping and for listing things to bring. I love this app and I can't wait to do a video on it. Um, I also use Evernote, again, a note-taking app to paste things in bulk into any list. For more immediate reminders, I use both bigdates.com and memotome.com to help remember birthdays and other events and or tasks. Both services will send me emails. Um, which are sometimes a little more immediate than what appears on my task list for the day. I've also been known to use Google Calendar and its email reminder function for one-time rem reminders. Note-taking and paperless files. Everything we've talked about so far has been pretty transactional, but for less transactional activities like um, note-taking or brainstorming or organizing or writing, um, I use Evernote. Uh, my brain also thinks a lot in spreadsheet form, and since Evernote doesn't have a great table function, I use Google Sheets for that. In addition, when I want to freeform draw or write freehand, I use Notability, and then I ex export the results into Google Drive. So that was a list of the tools that I use, but I'll do explainer videos on the following things. Um, using Gmail for single stream information funneling, using Toodledo and Notability for task management, using AnyList for shopping and packing, um, more immediate reminders, apps for note-taking and uh, paperless file storage, single stream pap paper processing system, and using Google Voice to get cell phone voicemail in your email inbox. Leave your thoughts and experiences in the comment section, and thanks for watching.